to take a look at number 22. We have P plus Q equals 4, or P plus Q equals 1. And again, you can use either equation to isolate a variable. So I'm just going to choose the first one, a P plus Q equals 4. And it doesn't matter if I isolate the P or the Q, but looking at the second equation here, I see the Q's by itself, and it's probably going to be easier to plug something in there and substitute for that Q. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to isolate the Q. So I had to get P to the other side, and opposite operation of adding is subtracting. And again, these aren't like terms, so I'm not writing them right underneath each other. So I have Q equals 4 minus P. So I know that in this second equation of 4P plus Q equals 1, everywhere there's a Q, I'm going to substitute it with the 4 minus P. So I'm going to have bring down my 4P. Then instead of plus Q, I'm going to have plus 4 minus P equals 1. Then I'm going to combine like terms, 4p minus 1p, because that's the same as saying 1p is 3p, bring down my plus 4, equals 1. Then to get 3p by itself, I have to subtract 4 from each side, and I get 3p equals negative 3. The offset operation of multiplying is dividing, and I get P equals negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So now I'm going to come up here and to my Q equals minus 4P equation. And I'm going to substitute negative 1 everywhere there's a P. So Q equals 4 minus negative 1. Q equals Bring down my 4. Negative times a negative is a positive. So Q equals 5.